what would you say the mitigation strategy should be? Let's say if you would advise me as a construction company or or a design consultancy firm, what exactly do you think I should look out for before you know any of these will happen? I would say contract would be one of it, right? Yeah. But how how detailed should it get, right? What are the things that we should cover that you know people might be caught uh, blindsided? I think there are, there are, there are two things like One, of course, the contract is the starting point, yep. right? And uh, I think uh, uh, maybe uh, the industry just needs to 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 kind of invest. You know, I would say uh, the word invest, right? Invest in a good set of uh, design and build contract, mm-hmm. right? Uh, that is modeled uh, based on good good templates, such as the PAM contract. Um, if you're talking about international standard, there's the FIDIC contracts, right? Uh, Philip, yeah? FIDIC. FIDIC. How do you spell yeah, it? F-I-D-I-C. F-I-D-I-C. Yeah, but these are normally used for bigger infrastructure projects. Uh, but for local PEM contract, which is the contract that is uh, issued by the Persatuan Architect Malaysia, yeah. right? That's a good starting point. Uh, it should cover the, the different contingencies and it also gives a more standardized terms for like damages and, and what happens if certain uh, events happen, right? How do we resolve the, the, the conflict and all that? 